What's up guys? I know it's been a minute since my last video. Not to make any excuses or anything, but I have been pretty busy with my new job. Most of you guys probably don't know, but just started producing for another YouTuber. Some of y'all might know him, Richie Lee. Shout out to him. I've been doing all sorts of things from filming, to putting together Ikea furniture, to picking up Maltese poop. Oh, are you about to go right there? Is that, is that a good spot? Oh, up oh, there he goes. You name it, but it's definitely worth it. This is where I want to be, and I'm headed in the right direction. One of the hardest things about being a YouTuber, or any sort of entrepreneur, is that other people just don't understand. They don't understand why you do what you do. They don't understand the work you gotta put in. They don't understand the potential and opportunities there are. They just don't understand. It's great being around other like-minded creatives. It really helps push you to grow. It helps foster that passion and ambition just blazing in your heart. And it's just a huge plus working with an established channel because it's just a constant reminder that what I want is within my reach. Not some crazy dream or fantasy that I have. It's real, like real, like pinch me, it's real. I don't know how I got put into this opportunity. I don't know how, how the stars just aligned. Freaking destiny called or something. It's just crazy to watch someone live what you are trying to build. You gotta keep that motivation strong. You gotta remember why you're doing this. You gotta keep building that dream until that dream ain't no dream no more. Remember in my other video how I was saying I wanted to travel the world making YouTube videos? Well, guess what? I'm about to fly to London. Never been to London? Never been to that side of the world? I'm pumped. But yeah, gonna be flying out there with Richie to help him film some stuff for his channel. You know, the goal is to eventually be traveling through my own channel. But, until then, let's go. Flight. That was a pretty long flight, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'll send the front. Oh, it's on that. Interesting. We just landed in London. We just got into our car, and um, I'm in the driver's seat, but I'm not at the same time. Which is kind of weird. Look, look at this. Ghost ride the whip. are American Fools, but uh, UK Queens. Let's see, do we got a view? Yo, what up, man? Yo, what's up, guys? The man himself, Mac, is in a, the return of the Mac. Have you heard that song? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got Mac in the building, uh, founder of Snups right here. We are at the headquarters. Man, thank you for having us, man. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah. Come on, let me show you around. All right, let's do it. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Bye. Right now we're taking a little stroll through the park. Here's uh, Richie. What up, man? And Mac. So uh, we are at uh, what is the park called again? Hyde Park. Hyde Park. Pretty chill. Is there any water here? Yeah, there's a pond right there. Oh, ponds. Yeah. I thought you were asking for some water to drink. Drinking water. Oh, I'm yeah. thirsty. Well, I could drink from the pond here. We're in front of this uh, gold statue of a uh, Henry. What? That's his name, Albert, right? Albert. 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 Man, Albert. Uh, Albert. Where'd you get Henry yeah. from, man? Gold, gold plated. Gold plated Albert. His boo just felt like giving him a present. His boo was like, yo, let me just get you a statue of yourself, not of me, yourself in gold. $15 million, 10 yep. million pounds. Damn. We're on our way to 
to the restaurant, Nobu. This is probably the longest I've walked in a long, long time. I'm getting tired. I'm lucky there's a breeze out right now. So it cooled me down. So that's the thing about London is uh, people seem to walk everywhere. If you're going to London, you gotta make sure to keep up on your cardio. You're gonna do a lot of walking. back at the hotel. I gotta say that that's probably the best meal I've ever had in my life. Really? It's a heavy statement, huh? That's a heavy statement, man. Shout out to uh, Mac for the meal. Nobu, 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 Nobu. All right, man, late at night, we are just getting some work done at the hotel right now. It is about 1.30 a.m. Everybody was saying they're kind of hungry. We're trying to get a healthy snack. So we sent Gabriel out to London Put, gave him some money and told him he has to get some snacks. Are you cool with the mission? I'm cool with the mission. Huh? All right, man. I'm all about that mission. Don't worry. Good luck, bro. Like Richie said, I'm on a mission right now. To go find some snacks. Where's a good spot around here to buy like some midnight snacks or whatever? Midnight Sorry. snacks. Crossing the street here is like Quentin Frogger. There ain't no crosswalks. You see those things? Those little platforms? Those are like your safety zones. Oh shit. I was just about to cross, but then... Okay, I'm gonna cross right now. I have made it to Portland. A 24-hour convenience store. Ooh, look at all these snacks. I would love to buy some candy, but Richie said something healthy. Are these healthy? Thinking the greener it is, the healthier. Just got done at the convenience store. Picked up some snacks. I'd say it was a success, but uh, gotta see what Richie thinks. What up? I'm back. Wow. Mission accomplished, Gabriel. I do a good job. Good job, man. Um. The hummus. The hummus. I, hummus I know how. Do. You know me too well. Hate. Hate. I gotta whisper now. Right now it is like 12:30 a.m. midnight in London. Richie and Kim and the crew—they're all asleep. I'm still jet lagged, so I'm on Seattle time, which is about 5 p.m. I couldn't get myself to sleep, so I think I'm gonna go exploring on my own. See what I find here on the streets of London. So I found one of the infamous red telephone booth. Let me make a phone call real quick. Kind of stinky in here. Hello? Just trying to make a booty call real quick. Christina? Is that you? How rude, she hung up on me. If you want to make booty calls with class, red telephone booths are the way to go. I don't really have a plan for tonight. I'm just gonna listen and uh, follow wherever the sound's taking me. You know? I might have lucked out just like a few steps away from uh, the hotel. I see lines of people. Okay, okay. There's a line over there, a line over here. Which line to get into? I don't know. The roads of London is a little crazy to cross, so maybe I'll just stick on this side of the road. That didn't really work out. Last entry is at 1. I didn't make it because it's like 120 right now. The guy at the entry, the bouncer, he says he's trying to work something out. He might let me in. So uh, the bouncer said he'll let me in if I cross the street to this uh, convenience store over there and buy him a coconut water. I respect the hustle. Coconut water, coconut water. Keep your touch to the car today. Made it into the club.
Tired. Never tired? <laughs> Martinez, never tired, you're never tired? tired. <laughs> Alright, so what's the plan? What are we doing? Oh, I did the... Oh, you're the one who did the, the limbo. Hello, hello. Hi, uh, what's your name? Nick. Nick. Nick, and what's your name? I did the like, limbo. She did limbo. Yeah, but my name's Larry. It's, it's my birthday. It's, it's like your birthday? Yes, happy, birthday. happy birthday. Thank happy you. Birthday. Happy birthday. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. That seems like the night is officially over here at uh... Hey, what, uh, what's the name of this club? Badashlas. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter. Oh, shit, we're here in London. Peter. We're here in London. Hey, yo, thanks for letting me in. Anytime, anytime, it's a pleasure. Did you like that, uh, that, that, uh, Vita Coco? Yeah, man, I love you it. Liked it? It's delicious. You liked nice, it? Delicious. You liked it? Nice and nourishing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Anytime, oh, anytime. sorry, my bad. Feel, feel free to come back to London. London's a beautiful place. Yeah, yeah. All right. Full of beautiful Where ladies. I'm, I'm from Seattle. Seattle, where's that? Seattle, Washington, in America? Oh, okay. No, originally. Oh, originally. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm right from Indian. I'm from Vietnam. Yeah, well, I gotta say, I had more fun than I expected. That was my first time being out like, at night at the club by myself. I wouldn't say it was the best experience ever, but would I recommend you going out by yourself? Not really. There was a lot of awkward moments, especially in the beginning. But I think if you're out in a foreign country, you just gotta make the best of it. If your friends are trying to turn down, forget it. Just turn up by yourself. So yeah, I would recommend you go out by yourself if that was your only choice. <laughs> Shoot, I really need to pee right now, so um, yeah, peace out. I'll see you guys next time. I gotta pee.